Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay. I work with TAME and I help get kids excited about science, tech, engineering, and math with after school STEM clubs. So today we are going to build a walk along glider, some, sometimes called a tumbleweed glider. And this activity is aimed at grades K through 8. And the challenge is to build your own walk along glider and to see how long you can fly it. So the recommended materials for this you'll need a pair of scissors, you'll need some masking tape or painter's tape. You'll need a piece of cardboard, the bigger the better, uh, generally, but something like this size should be good. And you're also going to want a template that you can either print out or you can draw off the example on our website. Um, and you can use regular printer paper for this. You can also make your tumble wing out of regular printer paper, but it's a little heavier and we find that um, lightweight paper is usually better. So, some other examples of paper that you could use. Try a lightweight paper bag or try a piece of tissue paper. And tissue paper is fun. We wanna make sure you're not using tissue paper that has been crumpled up because it's not gonna hold the shape as well. All right, and then the last uh, recommendation for lightweight paper, look in your mailbox, see if you've got like lightweight kind of newspaper printer you know, paper. So there we go. The next step, get all this organized, okay. So the next step, you're gonna to wanna to cut your template out and then after that, you're gonna take your template and you're going to tape, use two small pieces of tape and tape it to that lightweight paper that you, you've got. So I've done a little work here. I've, I've already um, put it along the edge, so I'll save myself some time cutting. And next step is you're gonna cut along these edges. Make sure the tape stays attached. All right, and so an example of that, here's one that's already been taped together. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they stay attached along the edges. All right, so you've cut that out. You're going to take your ballpoint pen, and the ballpoint pen doesn't need to have any ink in it, um, but you're just going to push down along the dotted line edges. And we've got dotted line here, here, so all four of those edges. It helps sometimes to put it on the table on like a stack of paper, and you're going to want to press firmly, but don't press so firmly that you tear through the paper. You're just going to press firmly enough to help you make that crease. And so the step after that, is to go ahead and, and um, crease the edges. And the first one you're gonna crease towards you. So you're just gonna fold down, pinch along those edges, pinch there, pinch there, pinch there. And you can even crease it, you can use your fingernails to crease it. When you get to this edge, make sure you're not folding it all the way down. You're folding along that dotted line. There you go. All right, so you fold this one towards you, then you're gonna flip it over and fold this side towards you as well. Okay, so looking at the finished tumbling, you see how one side is folded up and the other side is folded down? So that's kind of what you're going for. All right, so you fold the long edge, fold the other long edge, and next you're gonna fold your winglets, fold it up like that and up like that. And the right, the, the angle that you want for this is a 90 degree angle. So I've drawn this out for you. You can always tell a 90 degree angle by looking at the corner of a piece of regular paper. Um, and this will come in handy later. Check out this 45 degree angle, which is half of that. So that'll come in handy in a moment. All right, so I have folded my tumble wing. Um, I've got the, the winglets folded up. Next step is to take it apart very gently and make sure when you take the tape off, you're not gonna tear the tumble wing. All right, so once you've done that, you've got your lightweight tumble wing ready to fly. <clears throat> this is the exciting part where you're going to practice letting it go. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to hold it between your thumb and your forefinger, kind of in the middle there. You're gonna want the edge pointed up towards you. You're gonna want the, the winglets pointed up as well. And when you release it, make sure you're not at an angle. You're gonna to wanna to try and release it nice and light. And it'll take practice. You can experiment with all different kinds of ways to release this, but just releasing it, it's not gonna, it's gonna float. It might tumble a little. The trick is, we're going to use aerodynamics, and it's gonna feel a little bit like magic, but it's gonna be a really cool effect. I'm gonna use a folder right now so you can see it on film a little easier. And check out our demonstration video for the full thing, for the full actual effect. Um, but when you come along, you're going to wanna to drop this from up high above the cardboard. And you're gonna come along, and as it falls, you're gonna walk behind it. And you wanna have the folder, or the cardboard, at, the, at an angle of 45 degrees, remember? right angle 90 degrees this won't go so well it's just going to go flat against it there's no aerodynamics with that if you go too low like a 15 20 degree angle 
It's gonna cut through the air, but it's not gonna give you that same sort of aerodynamic flow. So you want a 90 degree angle. As you walk along, you're going to release the tumble wing and you're gonna to wanna to walk right along behind it nice and quick. And it'll, it'll float and tumble and do the most amazing things and you're gonna get really good practice with it. You go as long as you want, actually. Um, oh, and then the next important thing, you see how lightweight this is? A single gust of wind would blow this away. So you wanna make sure if you're, you may not have much luck trying this outside, you wanna make sure to try it inside. And if you're inside, make sure there's no fan aiming directly at you or even in the room. Sometimes AC turning on will make your tumbleweed go off course. So um, practice with it, have fun, experiment. That's what STEM is all about, trying new things. If you're enjoying this activity, I do want to encourage you to check out uh, tame.org. We've got tons of free resources and downloads. If you're enjoying the, uh, the tumble wing, check out our stunt plane activity, which was designed with engineers from Lockheed Martin Aeronautics where they build fighter jets. So check that out and have fun with this.